YouTube. So today's the day. This car goes from a running car to ripping everything apart, pulling the heads off, and uh, swapping out the uh, stock head bolts for a set of ARP studs. So uh, I'm doing this because I'm shooting for that um, you know 970 time slip, and I'm on borrow time at this point. So I'm not really going to bar uh, uh, kind of bore you with. The whole tear down you've seen me take this thing apart quite a few times um but really kind of just run you through it i'm going to drop the exhaust i'm going to pull the headers well first i'm going to drop the exhaust and then i'm going to pull all, all the top end off i'll probably end up doing pulling the top end, get all that stuff kind of out of there i got to drain the coolant uh get the intake off get everything apart i'm gonna take plenty of pictures just because you know this thing may be apart for a couple days i may not remember where everything goes pretty straightforward but you know how that always goes um and i'm gonna label things as necessary but um yeah let's get down to business so here you go folks tear down midway through uh blower is just about ready to come off just showing you a quick look here you can see a little bit of carbon buildup that's what happens when you uh are using ethanol it's running kind of fat and um you don't drive it that much but uh you can see here the um Blower's just about ready to come off. All the bolts are out, lids off. Everything looks pretty darn good. If you look in here, it looks like, you know, I get a blower's brand new and it practically is, you know, embarrassingly. So um, I'm going to finish getting this out. You're not going to see that because honestly, I don't want to show you guys with me getting a hernia. But uh, most of the wiring's out of the way. And then, then it's in the home stretch at that point. We're going to pop this off, drop the exhaust, start draining it, and off come the heads. So. Uh, fingers crossed. I have one small issue that I'm dealing with right now is this catch can. The hardware they give you is garbage and um, it stripped out in the head. So it didn't actually strip the head out. The bolt head itself has a hex head and it stripped out. So um, not 100% sure how I'm getting that off, but I did disconnect all the lines. So I'm probably going to take the whole thing off with the head and I'll deal with it on the bench. Okay, folks, so, so here's the deal. Uh, we're, we're, we're still tearing down, uh, making good progress. I got the exhaust broken loose down at the bottom. I'm eventually going to get to the, the, the headers here. Uh, one thing I wanted to point out, when you are um, getting ready to take the heads off, make sure you detach. There's a wire loom in the back there. Um, and I don't know how well we're going to see it. I'm going to try to move this over there so we can see. And perfect. And it's shiny. Uh, blindness. Boom. All right, so you can kind of see it over here. Um, see if I can get this thing to stabilize. There we go. All right, so like right there, you can see a bolt and a um, part of a harness there. Make sure that anything that has like your harness on it is off the back of this. So there's a piece right there and there, and then over here, there's a ground strap. Make sure the ground straps and everything are off um, and that you're going to have to reattach them afterwards. But when you go to pull the heads, you don't want them there because that's going to ruin your day because then you're going to have to. It's going to be leaking. It just That's just the way it is. So um, I'm going to get some towels and I'm going to end up putting towels down across the fenders and stuff like that because once I pull that off, it's going to start dripping everywhere. So I'm going to get it just like this. These are some towels I got from Lowe's or Home Depot or something like that. Get them real cheap, so I'm gonna end up getting a few more. But I just want to give you guys some pointers as you're getting ready to pull the heads. Uh, I am at the point now where I'm going to uh, pull the um, dipstick tube, and I'm going to um, I'll pull the dipstick tube, and I'm gonna end up starting to just you know take the valve covers off, disconnect the heads, pull the plugs, do all that good stuff. So um, we're we're moving right along, guys. Okay, so one half of it done. Um, Cleaned up pretty nicely. I still got to really wipe down the deck surface. I just ran out of steam last night. It was about 11 o'clock. Uh, unfortunately, I can't really do everything at one time <laughs> when I'm working on this, trying to get a lot of stuff done around the house. Everything really does look well. Heads over here on I got to still clean up a couple things. Missed a couple spots on the gasket surface. Otherwise, looks really good. Um, engine looks great. So you got my shop towels here. Need that to really clean everything off. But, uh, yeah, I'll be uh, putting this back together. i got to get the other side off. We'll do that. We're going to chase the threads. i got a really great tool. Actually, let me bring you over here. Walk with me. And um, let's see. I think it's right. Not here. Where did I put it? Here she is. Okay. 
So this tool right here is a thread chaser for LS series engines. I got to clean it off a little bit because it's been sitting in the thing, but um, you just send this down the um, head bolt holes and as a thread chase, you're going to need to use this, right? Like I vacuumed out each one of the holes, but before you throw those studs or any bolt for that matter down in there, you want to chase the threads just to make sure it's cleaned out. I like to do it with a vacuum. You just put it on a normal um, tap type of setup, get it down in there, vacuum it out. It's going to, as you're pulling it out, you're going to want to either blow the holes out or vacuum it out. I'll do the vacuuming approach. Just works easier for me. Um, and then that side will be done. We'll do the other side, same deal. So, um, yeah, it's not rocket science. It's just tedious, but you got to do it if you want a good job because um, you don't do this, it's going to bite you in the rear on the, you know, when you're wide open throttle at the track, you're going to lift the head, you're going to bang a gasket out or worse, you know, you could hydrolock the motor. So you just do, you know, methodically go through this, be careful and you will be, you will successfully complete this job. So hopefully I won't eat my words, but we're, we're, you know, we're going to keep moving forward and get this knocked out. All right guys. So both sides are off. I will admit this side was a bit harder uh, for reason that I'll point out is the back of the head. So you'll see it now what uh, what I ended up doing. You can see it's a little scratched up and it's because of this damn thing right here. So this is actually a clip that holds the wiring harness. And what I ended up doing, and I have this for a totally different reason, but I ended up using this saw that you can get at... Um, Home Depot and from the front of the car directed it with my fingers essentially like this off the firewall and it was actually this way so it was cutting like this and sliced it and it was the only way and it was kind of like at, a, at an angle something like that was the only way I can get that thing in there and uh, do it in, in a way that was careful enough that I didn't uh, mar the harness so you can see I don't know how well you can see it back in here but it's, um, everything's off. Now the fun cleaning game begins. So I am uh, gonna be wiping down the heads and um, you know using brake cleaner, clean everything off, cleaning off the deck surface, vacuuming it out, chasing the threads. And uh, then we, we're at the furthest point that this thing is gonna be apart. Then we put the heads back on, studs, all that good stuff. So I'm not sure whether or not I'm actually gonna put the studs in first just because the um, room is really bad. There's really not a lot of room in here to get the stuff in there. So i um, just going to clean it up real good and get down to business. Um, I got to get the heads on today uh, at, at a minimum because I want to wait till tomorrow to try another retorquing sequence. So I'll walk you through that once I get the studs out. So here we go, folks. Done driver's side. Passenger side still needs to be cleaned up, but ready to put on... The LS9 gaskets, just based on clearance, uh, I am going to put the head on first, and then I'm going to you know drop the head on, then drop the studs through. I, one thing that I definitely want to stress to folks, um, if you haven't and you're planning on doing this, you know ARP sells this. Uh, it's a thread chase. Get it. Um, there was so much crap in those head bolt holes. Uh, I am I chased it twice. I am so glad I did it because <laughs> it was an absolute disaster. So uh, I am going to get the head back on and put the gasket on, get the head back on, and then we're going to um, slowly start getting the rest of the bolts in, okay? Or I should say studs. And uh, then we'll, we'll torque it down, all right? All right, guys, so I've got the driver's side head back on. Um, overall, not that big a deal. I think, I think the main thing that you got to watch out for is... Um, you know, how, how you're going to put the head on with the stud. So like what I did, I put a couple studs in just so I could grab, like, so I could land the head, drop it down. Make sure you got your harness loomed in a way, like, like an idiot. I had it. I put this on, then realized the harness was below it. So I had to like move the header around, but because I uh, disconnected the steering shaft, um, I could push the header down. I got to finagle that back up. It's not the end of the world. It's just some work I got to do to get it up on there. I'm not going to do that until after I do another torque sequence tomorrow morning. Um, but we're going to work on the passenger side head. So I'll just kind of walk over here, show you what, I, what I'm what i up against. You can see here, 
Um, there's uh, some uh, leftover gasket material. What I end up doing is spraying a rag with um, a brake cleaner, and it doesn't create a mess. It just, you know, it, it dissolves the rubber that's there and um, ends up going right on the rag. So it's great. It just cleans up, works amazingly well. I just get one of these, you know, these red rags, and um, I got a couple extra ones around here, and I'll wipe it down. So I'm going to do that, then I'll vacuum it out, then I'm going to chase all the thread holes. That's really what takes the longest. It sucks, but <laughs> that's what takes the longest. Um, we got to chase them in, and then um, clean it out, vacuum it out, and you got to do that, guys, because that went together extremely easily. You don't do that, you could risk hide, you know, uh, putting the bolt down, putting the, the stud down in one of the threaded holes that has some trapped water, and water doesn't expand. We all know this and it could crack the block so um take your time do it it uh and, and and i'll and i'll video it on this one i didn't video it on this other one just because i wanted to concentrate on what i was doing but uh th in three sequences it's 25 foot pounds 50 foot pounds 80 foot pounds and then it's so on the cylinder head and uh to make this a little easier for you for the for torque sequence when you're if you're looking at the head this way Torque sequence is one, two, three, four, five, six, down here, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then it goes for these little guys. Uh, this would be 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And then what you end up doing is doing the bottom ones first. So it's 25 foot pounds, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then you do 50, same pattern, and then 80. And that's literally it. It's pretty straightforward. You got to take your time and um, make sure preparation. Preparation is is by far the most important thing when doing this, okay? Okay, guys, so here we go, together. Now, I apologize, heads are back on. I did not show the process. It's very straightforward. You, you hand tighten the studs in there. You gotta make sure you clean the threads. I've harped on it enough. Uh, what I didn't show you guys is I put the uh, driver's side head gasket on backwards. Uh, I had been rushing to throw it together and uh, didn't realize that I had done that until I came back in and was putting the other head gasket on. Took a look and was like, you know what? I should just check out the other side. I checked it out. I looked. I was like, damn. Messed up. <laughs> so the head came off. I took it back off, flipped the gasket over, slapped it back down, cleaned it off, of course, put it back down. Deck surface was fine. So... Uh, we are now back together. Now, I'm going to retorque again tomorrow morning. Um, we'll reattach the headers. And uh, we're going to start to dress everything up. I, we're done, man. Like So now it's just putting it back together. So um, the annoying part of putting the headers back together, I'll be working on that. I hate that because I've got the stage 8s, which are great for keeping the headers tight. But the stage 8s are a pain in the butt to put together. So um, that's it for today. You know, thanks for watching. We'll do the rest of the assembly. We'll do like a part two that'll have uh, have like the rest of the assembly and the fire up. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Take care.